Hello guys, this is Ahmed. Today I am going to show you how to unbox the Toy DIY 4 in 1 3D printer. So, as you can see, this is the whole package that you will receive. And let's unbox this one. First, take a knife and then open the box from the top, cut the tape and cut these two sides. Cut these two sides also and then we can open this one and this four part for lead now we will remove from the upper cover and then we will remove this one up and then we will remove this one like this and then we will take out this box You will have all the accessories in that box and then we will remove this one like this slide and move up and then we will remove this one and this one this is a very important step so you remove this one carefully This is your x axis arm and this is the bed so make sure that you don't use this one to lift your machine now we will take out the box into a lower flat surface position so that we can easily take out the machine from that box to our desk so as you can see i hold that two zip tie and lift up the machine and place it in a desk now we will cut this three zip tie open the polythene bag so use a knife or something that can cut these zip ties. Okay, open. And then lift this like this. So this is your toy DIY 4 in 1 and this is the toolkit box that all the tool heads and other accessories is comes with. So then now we will remove this one. This one is for the guarding the x axis arm and then this cut this zip tie. And then as you can see here we have two ankle plate to support the x axis and here we have the one extra screws for the bed support so that it can't move it limit the movement so we will open this one later and now we will unbox the toolkit box let's see what's inside at the top you will have a card and contact details for any support and any other inquiries you can contact us and this is the equip maker manual equip maker toy diy 4 in 1 manual and here we will see the tool heads and this is the filament holder this is the tool head and this is laser tool head CNC tool head. This is FDM dual tool head. And this is FDM single tool head. This is for accessories. This is for filament box. Here you can see we have a accessories box, filament holder, four tool head and filament roll and the toy DIY 4 in 1. So let's open the toolkit box, what's inside it. One sample of laser engraving materials. This one is 
comes with some allen screws and extra accessories this is the usb cable for upgrading firmware and online printing this is the power plug this is the cnc mounting screws and rubbers this is the goggles for laser engraving protection this is the two card board for laser engraving for laser test and this is the two materials for cnc engraving and this box inside you will find the adapter as you can see this one and here is the extra wire comes with the box this is a magnetic bed sticker and this is the magnetic bed so when you have some scratch or something like that then you can remove the upper sticker and then use a new one and at last this one is the cnc carving raft for your cnc let's unbox the tool heads and this is the fdm single tool head this is the fdm single tool head as you can see here is one filament port this is the fdm dual tool head this is fdm dual tool head this is the cnc tool head you will receive this like this and this form is to protect the cnc bead be careful and at last we have the laser tool head this is the laser tool head so we already unbox the four tool heads and our tool kit box for the accessories let's open the filament holder box you will receive a filament holder and this one is the filament box you will receive two roll of filament So here is everything. Okay, uh, we already finished the unboxing. So now we will prepare the machine for the first frame. Let's take this box and take the Allen wrench to open this four screw attached with the X axis and with your bed. So open this four. Okay, we already opened the four screws and then we will open this one which is fix the bed. So, open this one. This is a silver color screw. So, do not forget to remove this one is very important otherwise you cannot move your bed. Okay, we already removed the five screws. Okay, we are done. And as you can see, now you can move the bed and you can move this one. And we already removed these four screws, which is attached with the X axis arm, and another screw which is attached with the bed. And now we will replace this magnetic bed with the platform. 
and then we will install the tool head we first will try with the fdm single tool head so let's install the tool head open this tool head mounting screw slide slide like this and then use your two finger to press it down use your two finger to press it down we already installed the tool head now we will unbox the filament so that we can put that inside our extruder and tool head so, so let's open the box this is a purple color filament we got and maybe in your case you will get some other colors let's open that box cover and don't forget to break this first portion break a bit and then put that inside the extruder so push that up and then push the filament inside push that lever up extruder lever up and then push the filament inside the hole this is the lever yes push until you can see the filament is coming out from that and then insert it to the tool head port we already insert the filament and install the tool head so now we will connect the power plug with the adapter and then i will plug in the machine with electricity so open this one we will connect this power cable and then connect this plug with the machine now we will turn on the machine as you can see after you turn on the machine the light will be lighten up and as the logo will be comes up and this is our logo and this is the menu now what you need to do is open your sd card and insert it to the sd card slot and then you can do the first print go to print from sd card click here and then you select the fdm 3d printing test so select this one and as you can see So at first it will do the auto home and then it will start print 